This is a healing inner child meditation for codependency, negative programming, and lack of self-love. Let us begin by closing our eyes and taking a nice, slow, deep breath. Invite your body to relax and settle in. Take another deep breath, nice and slow. Feel everything begin to slow down. Every muscle begin to unwind and relax. Allow your shoulders to fall and relax. Let your whole body go. Fully relaxing into the surface wherever you're sitting or laying down. Some of us grew up with unhealed parents or caregivers. They raised us in environments where their own wounding got in the way of loving who we were while we were growing up. They did their best but still unknowingly damaged us along the way. This manifested into us as adults when we began to question if we were lovable. Some of us became enablers, letting our partners, friends, and family treat us badly or unkind. Because we never witnessed healthy boundaries, we didn't know how to take care of ourselves, how to make it stop. So we felt stuck lost, or alone, without hope. We might have grown up longing for approval, or lived with the longing of feeling approval by our caregivers. But they didn't know how to do that. So we grew into unhealthy adults, stuck in the trap of still longing for that approval we never got. As children, we wanted our parents' love, affection, admiration, and acceptance. But many of us didn't get those things. So as adults, we feel like something might be wrong with us. Like we're broken, unlovable, unworthy, unacceptable. We may hide behind masks so the world won't find out how we really feel. We pretend that we are okay. We smile when we feel sad, lonely, or afraid. Today is the day we begin to correct the faulty programming we received as children. We don't blame anyone. We let that energy go for it doesn't serve us. It doesn't help us to become our whole healthy self. We now open up to the healing of our inner child so we can begin to transform and live with peace, self-love, and all the things we missed out on as children. Taking another deep breath in your mind's eye, see a timeline in front of you. Walk up to the timeline. When you arrive there, notice a beautiful light above you coming down from the sky. It's coming from a source so high you can't see where it begins. This light is part of you. It is your light. This is the light that is connected to your higher self. The light that is true and healthy. It represents the highest, healthiest version of you. To become this person, open up the top of your head, your crown chakra, and invite this most beautiful light to come down to and through you into your crown and through your entire being.
With every breath, feel this light fill you up, illuminating every cell in your body. Feel this light, this energy fill you up now. Now invite the vortexes on the bottom of your feet to open. Feel the vortexes open and allow this light to extend through your feet and meet the same beautiful energy coming up from Mother Earth. You now see yourself with this beautiful beam of light coming through you from up high into the heavens, into the center of the earth. Feel your heart open as this truth comes in and fills you up. You don't need to know which truth it is, but know that it's coming into you. It is yours. It will reveal as we go on. This is your healthy adult self, the healthiest version of you. Feel it. Own it, for it is yours. Now with this light beaming through you, step up onto this timeline and look into your past and your mind. Ask to travel back to a time and space when the dysfunctional programming began in your childhood and you began to get confused and lose your true self, your true identity. Allow your healthy adult to guide you back in time. You will feel and see yourself begin to travel into the past to your childhood. You will stop at the perfect time. Travel now. Step off now. Step off the timeline and walk up to the door that's sitting now in front of you. Open it and on the other side, you will see yourself as a younger child. For now, just observe this beautiful, innocent little love. What is this child doing? What are they wearing? Take your time with this, there's no rush. Just observe and say hello. Ask if you can come closer to this child. Introduce yourself and let them know that you are their healthy adult self. Allow them to respond however they wish. We have no judgment, we just allow. Let them know how sorry you are for what happened to them. That you wish you were there, but you weren't. But you're here now to protect them. To love them unconditionally. To validate them and keep them safe. Allow the child to respond if they would like. Take this time to dialogue with your child. Anything they say and do is fine. You may ask them if they'd like a hug or a kiss or any type of affection. Take a few moments now to dialogue and bond with your child. Just validate and listen to them. If they're quiet, just be present and send love from your heart. For this child is innocent, precious, a sweet little child. Take a few moments now.
Look at this child. Notice the child's innocence. The wonder they had with the world way back when. So much hope. So much to live for. All they needed was love, healthy boundaries, approval. But their caregivers had their own issues and they couldn't do that. This innocent child got programmed with incorrect beliefs about themselves, about relationships, about what love is. How could it be that this child isn't lovable, worthy, or acceptable? This is an untruth. Give the child permission to let that go now. Instead, Tell your child this. Sweet little one, I love you. You matter so much to me. You can do anything in life and I support you. I see you. I hear you. You are special just because you are you. I will protect you and keep you safe. Anything else you feel you need to say to your child, do so now. What do you need to hear? Say it to your child. What did you want to hear that you didn't hear when you were growing up? Say it now. Now, correct some of the faulty programming for this child. Sweet little one, being needy is not the same thing as love. Do not take care of your parents. You're not responsible for them or for other people's emotions and keeping them happy. Just your own. Pay attention to your own emotions. If your caregiver or anyone else wants you to emotionally take care of them, this is unhealthy. Sweet little one, don't change who you are for anyone. You're perfect, just as you are, and I love you. From now on, sweet little love, I will protect you. I will validate you. For we all need this to grow up and be healthy adults. This is what healthy adults do for children. And I'm so sorry that no one did this for you. I will do this for you from now on. You are kind, gentle, innocent, brave, strong, worthy, and most importantly, you are so lovable. How could you not be? Your parents and caregivers projected their wounds onto you and you took them, sweet little one, thinking this is what you needed to do to be lovable. This is not true. What you took on was not yours. Let it go now. I give you permission to take care of yourself and not your parents or caregivers. You are special, vulnerable, and amazing. Remember this. I love everything about you. I will protect you and keep you safe.
If you haven't already done so, you can offer now again your precious child a hug or any kind of affection if they wish. Take your time. Ask them if they'd like affection. When you feel complete, invite your sweet child to come with you so you can keep them safe and help them to stay healthy. Imagine you have a zipper in the front of your body and unzip yourself. Imagine this child climbing inside and merging with you, becoming your inner child. Zip back up. Take a few more deep cleansing breaths, continuing the flow of light down through you. Know that this light is purifying this inner child of all dysfunctional, limiting beliefs. Know that at this point in time, this beautiful child gets another chance with the help and direction of you in your healthy adult self. The mind does not know if this is happening now or in the past, in your imagination or in reality. It is all the same to the mind, for there is no time. This process reparents this wounded child and gives them a fresh start, a new start, a chance to correct the dysfunctional programs and beliefs as they arise. This meditation and this light has already begun to change within and allow new empowering loving beliefs to replace the old limited dysfunctional beliefs. With this new child part of you, take a deep breath and step onto the timeline allowing it to bring you forward into your current space and time. Take a deep breath once you've gotten to this current space and time. Step down off the timeline and notice this is the real you, the true you, the highest, healthiest version of you. This light is who you are. Anything not of this light, which includes all the limiting beliefs and programs, is not you, not your essence. Choose to let those programs and beliefs go. For your higher self, your healthy adult self, remembers and knows who you are, which is nothing but love. And now you too will remember that and live with this knowing. Feel yourself come back into the room. Let us begin to wiggle our toes and fingers. Give your body a nice stretch. When you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Remembering and reminding your inner child that you are nothing 